what is the difference between capacitor and battery as we know that both are the energy storage devices but there are many differences among them let's see one by one the first and main difference is the way these two devices stores the energy on one side if we see about the capacitor when it is connected to the supply voltage it accumulates positive and negative charge on its plates and due to this accumulated charge the electric field gets generated inside the capacitor from higher potential to lower potential and it stores the energy in the form of electrical energy and this energy can be calculated with this formula a stored energy equals to half cv squared where c is the capacitance of capacitor and v is the potential difference across the capacitor while on another side battery is made of anode and cathode terminal and electrolytes inside it is separated with a separator so when this battery is connected with charger the lithium ion starts moving from anode via electrolytes and passing through the separator comes to cathode terminal and electrons moves in this direction so this is how battery stores the electrical energy in the form of chemical energy and when this battery is connected to the load these lithium ion again comes back from cathode terminal to anode terminal so till now we understood that capacitor stores energy in the form of electrical energy while battery stores the energy in the form of chemical energy but these two devices also differs for the amount of energy it stores if we see for capacitor so we know that energy stored inside the capacitor equals to half cv square and with this formula if we calculate the energy stored for this electrolytic capacitor of 47 microfarad and 450 volt it can store the maximum energy of half here the capacitance value is 47 microfarad so 47 into 10 to the power minus 6 into v square here maximum supply voltage can be connected 450 volt so 450 square so this comes out to be 4.7 joule while on another side if we see for the battery here i have taken example of aa battery of 700 mah and voltage rating of 1.2 volt so its energy can be calculated as capacity in watt equals to current rating into voltage so it will come out v is 1.2 volt and current in ampere is 700 mah so i have converted this milli to ampere hour milli ampere hour to ampere hour to 0.7 ampere hour so this will come 0.84 watt hour so to convert this watt hour to joule just multiply with 60 minutes and 60 seconds so 0.84 into 3600 joule so this battery can store 3024 joules of energy so now if we compare both so capacitor can store only a few joules of energy while a battery can store huge energy inside it these two devices also differs for the charging time if we connect a capacitor with a voltage supply it accumulates the charge very fast and this time is dependent on this time constant resistance multiplied with capacitance value which will come in milliseconds so we can say the charging time of capacitor is very less 
while for the battery once this battery is connected to the voltage supply initially a very high current flows through it that you can see here till the time the battery voltage goes to maximum and once the battery voltage goes to maximum which is approx more than half an hour then this battery starts storing the more energy in the chemical form and its charging current decreases gradually and the time elapses in charging the battery fully in hours here it takes 2.5 hours to 3 hours so we can say the charging time of battery is comparatively much higher similarly it also differs for discharging time on one side capacitor discharges very rapidly based on time constant rc and its discharging time is very less on another side a battery takes hours to discharge and this time depends on the load we are using if we connect higher load to the battery it will discharge faster so in this case you can see this blue line which is connected to 0.1 amperes of load takes 3.5 hours to get fully discharged while this black line which is connected to very high load of 1 ampere get discharged in just half an hour so its discharging time compared to the capacitor is much more the next difference as the capacitor discharges very fast and stores very less energy in it it is treated as a passive device which doesn't provide the electrical energy to the circuit on another side this battery stores the used energy inside it and gets discharged in hours it is a active device next see the some use cases of both devices as the capacitor gets discharged very fast or we can say it releases energy very rapidly and can provide very high discharging current it is used for flashing purpose in the camera next use case of capacitor is it can be used as a coupling capacitor it couples circuit 1 to circuit 2 blocks the all dc signal and just pass ac signal to the circuit 2 and used in the devices like microphones which filters the all dc signal and passes our voices to the recording devices or the speaker the next use case of capacitor is it can be used as a decoupling capacitor and filters out all noises from the circuit and gives a stable dc output so it decouples the all noise from the circuit and provides a smooth dc signal to the circuit and this is used for the critical application like providing a stable input to the ics if you see in the power supply this sun capacitor removes the all ripples from the input and gives filtered dc output and while this battery is used as a power supply in many devices like mobile tablets watches bluetooth speakers and many more